So a federal appeals court has rejected Donald Trump's claim for immunity in the election case. He has until February 12th to appeal it, and I'm sure that he will, but the court had this to say about it. They said, for the purpose of this criminal case, former President Trump has become citizen Trump with all of the defenses of any other criminal defendant. But any executive immunity that may have protected him while he served as president no longer protects him against this prosecution. My question here is, why are we even having this conversation in the first place? Why are we talking about whether or not a president has immunity and whether or not a president can or can't break the law? Why has that even become a debate? But ever since Election Day of 2020, Donald Trump has tried to spin this every way in the world. And for those of us who are paying attention and for those of us who refuse to jump through all the hoops that he has his followers jump through, we pay close attention to what he said. And he started off by saying, I'm not guilty. I did nothing wrong. And as time went on and he could provide no evidence in his favor and all the evidence pointed against him, then he just started saying, well, I have immunity. I, I should be allowed to do whatever I want as president. And his followers don't think this through. If you give Donald Trump immunity, then you're giving it to Joe Biden and you're giving it to anyone who takes the oath going forward. Ever since I was a child, the very first inauguration I ever sat through and watched, I watched a president walk up, lay his left hand on a Bible, raise the right hand, and swear to protect, preserve, and defend the Constitution. And I always thought we were supposed to take that serious. I didn't think that was just a, I thought that was, I thought that meant something, folks. I thought that had meaning. I thought that packed a punch. And when I would see them put their hand on the Bible and raise their right hand, I go, oh, they better, they better toe the mark and walk the line. But no, not if you're Donald Trump. Then you can start splitting hairs. You can say, well, now I said I'd preserve and protect it and defend it, but I don't have to support it. And I can terminate it when I want to. And I can throw it away when I want to. And I can only cherry pick out the parts that I like best of it. And I'm immune to anything I do. And his followers sit back going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not realizing that if you give him that power, you give everyone that follows him that power. So why are we even having this conversation in the first place? Who would want that? I don't want Joe Biden to have full immunity. I don't want Joe Biden to be completely above the law. Because if we give that to him, we give it to the next Republican that takes office. And the one after that and the one after that. And then what's the point of having the oath? What's the point of doing it? If you can sit there and split hires like that and split it all up and say, well, I, I interpret it this way, it's not about how you interpret it. It's about how that it really is. And I can't believe that we've come to this point. But what it is, we've got his flock out there. They're so wrapped up in the story. I've said this before, but they are like someone who is caught up in a television show and they want to see their character win. They want to see their character prevail. They want to see this big finale. And they're playing it out in their head. And they're trying to take part in it by going out here and cosplaying at the Capitol and cosplaying at the border. And they're trying to act like that there's somebody in this world. And they're hoping that their big hero wins. Well, I don't know how many of you ever watched the show Sons of Anarchy, but it's always been one of my favorites. When it come around for the finale of that show, and I'm not going to spoil it for those of you that haven't seen it, but I'll go ahead and tell you up front, it's not a Walt Disney ending, and it couldn't be because of the situation that Jax Taylor put himself in. There was, no, there was no good ending for that. There was no way that that story could have a happy fairy tale ending. It couldn't, and Donald Trump's can't either. It can't have the ending that MAGA lays in bed and dreams about because he painted himself in this corner. And he has tripped over his own words every step of the way. And they'll jump through the hoops while he trips and stumbles. They'll trip and stumble right along behind him, but it doesn't make him right. And it doesn't give him immunity. And the fact that we're even having to say this out loud should tell y'all exactly where we are in this country.